Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the track Oil by the virtual band Gorillaz. This was the second track on their most recent album Cracker Island and it certainly very quickly became one of my favourite tracks, incorporating the powerful vocals of Stevie Nicks and harbouring a really interesting sound that certainly helped it to stand out from the rest of the album. It's hard to deny that bringing on one of the most powerful female vocalists of the past 50 years will certainly always add an extra spicy element element to a track and this has certainly done just that, really adding some powerful elements and really providing a very interesting balance between Damon Albarn and Stevie Nicks who have these two very different vocal styles. So will this track prove to be as murky as oil or as clear as water? Let's take a look at exactly how it sounds. Even just off the actual intro alone, I love how simple yet effective it actually is. There's this really strong up swingish beat that really helped by the actual drums, really providing that strong pacing, really leading into the track. And despite it being one of the longer intros that we did see on the album, it certainly packs quite a punch in really just making you feel upbeat, making you feel quite joyous with its almost very summery sound. So off this first verse, we do get a couple of really interesting things. Uh, then I put my codes in the machine. And we do see a lot of references to the idea of the internet being brought into this. This idea of putting a password in to almost log into something. The world I found was made of faulty dreams. This idea that things on the internet aren't exactly always crystal clear. At times they can be very faulty. Things can be perceived very differently. And that's what we certainly see through these opening couple of lines. Being there on your own in the psychic science. The idea that sometimes you can be on the, on the internet, you can be connected to so many people yet feel so alone at the same time and it could actually weirdly enough like tie on the idea of sort of online dating as well i was out there looking for some other kite to fly out of the doors that recall the log but i love how they kind of reference the idea of love being like an early database this idea of chat logs chat messages maybe even sharing messages with somebody over a period of time building this database or this collection of messages of meanings that are really kind of special to you but you're trying to recall them it's almost like you've lost them to time. I love how through the verses and the actual chorus, we have just got these really soft vocals from Damon Albarn. And I love how when Stevie Nicks comes in, she has this much more grittier sound. It's this idea of almost like oil and water. The two probably shouldn't mix, but in this sense, they work really well together because they're kind of at these opposite ends and they really meet in the middle. And I love how they're singing in unison, really harmonizing in the chorus and really pulling together. This idea of trying to interlock, they're coming together, even though it's quite a 
dark chorus that we have got interlocking cluster bombs like drum and bass i thought so this idea they're coming in thick and fast this idea of dropping bombs constantly close the wells of poison film so this could actually tie in with the idea of war fighting wars over oil it's something that we've seen over the past number of years certainly in certain countries it's something that often a lot of wars and a lot of battles will be fought over this idea of resources so i like how they show that idea and i love the interesting use of drum and bass kind of emphasizing the idea of how fast bombs are dropping this idea of wells of poison you're really killing off a number of people because you've poisoned the well very common phrase that we do see used in quite a number of stories in music it's a really simple idea for this idea of corrupting people or killing them off and swallow this idea of swapping them out with love just filling them up with love to try and spread that joy amongst people rather than the destruction I was all alone I got lost in tangible that's the place you reach when you can't help yourself anymore And the madness comes, you'll be falling into the bass and drum And I love that lyric, falling into the bass and drum. It sounds so wrong to say that because we're so used to hearing drum and bass. This idea that you're almost flipping into an almost alternate world. And I think overall this song really just tried to kind of talk more so about the internet. The idea with the actual chorus, this idea of you're looking at news stories about people being destroyed. You're looking at this idea of kind of chat messages you've exchanged with a loved one that is no longer there. So we're seeing lots of different things that are really being tied in. This idea of how it can affect your mental health. That's the place you reach when you can't help yourself you know, and some people can kind of become addicted put themselves in a dark place so every different kind of part of this track really looks at a different thing that you can access through the internet <laughs> And I love how we've got the drums really picking up the energy towards the end of this track. It's actually a drum pattern that we do see used in quite a number of different tracks, really just to build this energy. If you look at Coldplay's Fix You, that's another track that makes use of this exact same pattern, and it's really used to build energy, certainly in much slower, slower, softer tracks. I mean, this is great, making great use of acoustic guitar, so it helps to build the energy towards the end. And if you'll notice it across a number of other songs that follow that same pattern, it's one of the most kind of iconic drum patterns in the name that build of energy in a softer song without overpowering it to the point where it just kind of completely convulsed the rest of the track. What a brilliant track that is. I love just how simple is it. It was a track on the album that didn't feel like it tried to be more than it needed to be. I love the acoustic guitar that's made use of very adds this really strong swing and this nice joyous effect. And for a song that's all about trying to fill the world with love rather than destroy it, it serves as the perfect vessel to help try and deliver that message. Also, I love the vocal harmonies between Damon Albarn and Stevie Nicks. It's a really interesting mix that when I first heard it announced on the album, I thought, surely their vocals aren't going to sound altogether too similar but I love this idea of kind of oil and water really mixing together even though they shouldn't and it provides a beautiful harmony throughout most of the actual chorus as well as some of the verses and I like that as well the way they incorporate Steve Nicks into more of the track than just a single point it's really good to kind of just show that unity this idea that they're trying to build that love isn't just a change that one person can make everybody has to make that change and it's a collaborative effort to make these changes whether it be in real life maybe making changes on the internet 
internet don't be cruel to people that you don't actually know that you don't see so they kind of tackle a lot of different things in this track but it allows you to draw so many different things from it and it tackles a lot of the ways in which we can kind of be violent towards each other or not look after each other so it is great how it does have this overarching kind of message it wants to convey but there's lots of little ways that you can kind of spur off it if you want to look at different things from this track so that will be everything for today's video. But if you haven't heard Cracker Island yet, it's definitely worth a listen. It was a very middle of the pack album. Some of the tracks on there were fantastic. Silent Running and Oil probably being the strongest too. There were a couple of weaker tracks on the album as well, but certainly one worth listening to if you do enjoy a lot of the Gorillaz discography. It is just living up to this really interesting mix that Damon Alban has continually played around with lots of different styles and sounds on every single album. But as always, feel free to let me know your thoughts about this track in the comments section below and if you would also like to see more content like this then please do feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next Dojo Analysis.